Oh, yeah. Um, you got a fireplace? Throw that head in there, man. Oh, yeah. You know, it was the only one I had. Not anymore. Where's my old head? Ooh. I know I talk jewels, speak diamonds. How I feed a god, you talk life about timing. But they say, hey, they feel like mine's winding. In this cold world, trying to adjust the climate. Looking at. Yo, Tube, what it do? This is your guy, Jay Silver, and you are back on the Silver Linings TV show. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you are here with me. And for that, I salute you. Guys, today we're, we're changing. Uh, Changing gears a little bit, you know, we always talk sneakers here, but there has been some conversation. I've been getting, uh, you know, folks that are familiar with the channel letting me know when are you gonna do hats, are you gonna review hats, and if, you've, if you're if you familiar with the channel, you look at my shorts, I've, uh, all the short clips, or they're called shorts, I put a bunch of uh, hat stuff on there, so I knew that when the time was right, I was gonna get up here and show some, uh, some hat content. I just didn't know, you know, I'm used to showing sneakers, talking about the history of the sneaker, and um and doing on feet reviews so with the half stuff i was just trying to find a creative way on how to bring you guys that content so i thought hey why not today's uh it's a saturday night and i said uh you know we're almost we're we're thanksgiving's a few days away we're we're, we're closing in on the holidays it's almost the end of the year we're getting set to start 2022 so i said why not show some of my hat purchases of 2021. I want to say I'm new to the hat game, guys. I've been wearing hats forever, right? I've always been a hat dude, and um, but I will say I'm new to the uh, to the hype culture of where uh, of where the hats have been going. You know what I mean? I'll go into lids, grab me a little plain Jane, as they call it, Phillies, Yankees, black on black joints, and call it a day. But um, you know, it's the, the game has elevated from that. You got color under visors. You got a bunch of patch, patchwork that they're putting on these hats. Um, you got all types of flavors that these traditional teams like Yankees, Phillies, or Red Sox, they wouldn't make baby blue hats with pink under visors or cotton candy cutters. So it's a totally different ball game. If you're not hip, get hip. There's dudes that even line up for these hats now. Um, like I said, they were sneakers. So I'm, I'm calling, uh, and they resell hats too. There's certain hats that I'll show you today that I've paid retail for, where you'll catch on eBay for $110, $150. I've seen this crazy Phillies hat for like $160 or something like that. And if I can find a hat again, I'm gonna paste it in the video here so you guys can see which hat I'm talking about, but incredible. Um, I definitely will pay resale for sneakers. I would absolutely never, never let me say never, say never, but it'll be unlikely for me to pay resale for a hat, guys. It's just, uh, you know, to me, I don't, you know, hey, you like it, I love it, but to me, I don't I don't see that being the case. So we're gonna start with some purchases here, guys, that I made in 2021. I'm gonna try to get them in the order that I purchased them. Uh, so let me see how, okay, yeah, let's go over here. I went ahead and actually, yeah, here it goes. I found this hat, guys, actually off of Macy's website, believe it or not. I'm on Instagram scrolling, and you know Instagram hasn't, has a knack for knowing when you're looking for something. This popped up, I went on their site and I, and I actually uh, located this Philadelphia Phillies hat. You can see it's a all baby blue frame with a white P hat. It has a 1993 World Series patch. Shout out to Darren Dalton and them boys, the 93 Phillies team. I was a kid when that happened. Funny story about that 93 World Series, man. I didn't, I didn't grasp the concept of what a series was. So every time the Phillies would win a game, I would ask my dad, did, did we win the championship? Did we win the championship? Until like ultimately um, Joe Carter hit a game winning home run and they actually won the series. And I'm like, well, that's not fair. Every time we won, we don't get the championship and they win and they give it to them. I always remember that 93 World Series, but just a nice cool uh, hat, man. Light blue, um, Pepto-Bismol on the uh, under visor, 93 patch. I paid like 40 bucks, I think, for this. Uh, not including shipping at Macy's. So this is definitely one of the first purchases of 2021. And uh, as far as the whole side patch and color under visor game is concerned, this was made up, this was made at, at uh, Macy's. Shortly after that, we got into the, uh, I made another purchase. And this purchase, I actually paid slightly a little more than I would normally pay. And I think it's because it was an independent store. Um, I believe this is called King's Clothing Store on Instagram. And I went ahead and made this purchase. 
I still remember I ended up uh, taking this to the boardwalk back down in uh, Wildwood, New Jersey. And I just like the color. It gave me a summer vibe, you know what I mean? Mustard yellow, Tampa Bay uh, logo, real husky on the front there with, 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 with some cool colors. Side patch, kind of raised uh, side patch there. 10th Seasons, I believe this is the uh, Devil Ray celebrating their 10th anniversary from being an expansion team. And uh, unique part, I didn't know this was, I didn't find this out till um, the hat was delivered to me. Instead of having an LMOB logo there, they just planted a big, it has Devil Ray there or Sting Ray there. So uh, in hindsight, if I see this in a store, maybe not, but it is what it is overall. Pretty cool hat. L little lemonade vibe there. If you can see a little pink lemonade vibe, but uh, other than that, pretty cool purchase. And that's how I started out. I made two online pur uh, purchases. And then I started jumping into, there's a store here called Pro Image Sports. If you guys are familiar with it, give me a thumbs up or give me a, let me know about it uh, in the comment section. What's, what uh, Pro Image store you go to, because usually they, they got three to four within a 15 to 20 mile radius. Here they have, let me see, they have one at this spot called Philadelphia Mills. They have Cherry Hill Mall and they have one in Deptford. So that's like three locations with a pretty close radius. And every Saturday what they do is they drop the concept and they drop, the, drop a few hats. And they've been do, doing that for quite some time, but eventually the hype started building up on that. So it literally to this day, and I've never done it and I never will is people get up there at six in the morning. The mall opens at 10. People are lined up waiting for them to open up the store so they can grab their their size. Usually what I'll do is if I like a particular hat, I'll just get there when the mall opens and just hope for the best. If it's there, it's there. And if it's not, then I'm cool with it too. And I ended up grabbing straight from the store. I believe it was this. Here it goes. Little plain joint, man. Not too crazy. Texas Rangers and your navy blue, baby blue tea hat, sky blue under visor. And uh, got that raised Batterman's logo on the back. And a pretty cool patch there on the side that says uh, All-Star Game 95. Um, you know, this was something that I just kind of grabbed on impulse, but you can't go wrong with these colors. This is a hat that you can throw on at any time. So then from there, I went ahead and grabbed, uh, also at Pro Image, did a little walk-in and grabbed this joint your Washington uh, Nationals. It's like a little, like a, it's like an olive green with a cool hit there of like a neon yellow on the bottom. Got the raised Batterman logo. Kind of looks like an athletics hat, but it's a Washington Nationals. Then the side patch shows All-Star Game Washington DC 2015. Threw a little Eagles joint on there, man. I don't know why, I guess just because the Eagles, uh, just because of the color match, even though it has nothing to do with Philadelphia, but wanted to represent there a little bit. And then uh, shortly after that, another Saturday drop. All right, guys. And then I ended up going into lids and you see a standard Phillies hat black with royal blue, royal blue on the bottom and my absolute favorite patch when it comes to the new era fitted game that 1996. Philadelphia Phillies All-Star Game. Guys, my absolute favorite. My, It's been my favorite so much that anytime I can get my hands on that patch, I have been going crazy this year. Um, there's, you know, I'm definitely missing a few, but the ones I was able to kind of get my hands on, as you can see, just that patch gives the ha any hat, I feel like a look, man. So let's, let's get to it, man. We got the red and white blue. Alternate Phillies hat, absolutely beautiful. Pepto-Bismol Bismol on the bottom. That gold Liberty Bell, if you look at the letters surrounding, there's a little pink around there too. Absolutely love this hat. Throw a little Phillies number one pendant on there. OG, cannot go wrong with it. Official all red joint. 1996 All-Star Game patch. Got a little custom pin here. I'm gonna leave the link to that guy's description for that pin here on my channel. The Philly Fanatic, so glad that he signed back with the Phillies. And the Phillies, uh, just a regular pin, Phillies pin there. 
regular uh, batters, man, in the back. No, it's not raised. Pe Pepto Bismol on the bottom. Smooth, smooth hat. Now we get into some lemonade. Now they, you know, they got a little freaky there. Put the star there on the P hat. So it was a good thing. Check out the back. Straight up lemonade vibes. And the beautiful 1996 All-Star Game patch. This one, if you look closely, I don't know if the light's picking it up. Gets a little glittery there, man. Love this one. Can't wait to throw it on. My favorite, man. This is a lids pickup. Man, super underrated. Hat, I mean, it's got royal blue hits. It's got green and yellow on the P hat. And just when you think they're done, they throw a purple under visor. And of course, look how colorful that 1996 All-Star patch is looking on this one. Absolutely love this one. If I can re-up on it, I will. And my latest uh, pickup, I'll leave the link to the description to this purchase also. This was a, a, a an online purchase to one of those independent sites that sell hats, guys. Look at that. It gives me uh, kind of, you know, it's a Phillies hat, but it gives me Philadelphia Broad Street Bully vibes, man. Black and orange. Look at the side patch game. Orange on the bottom. Regular uh, Batterman. It's not raised. Absolute beauty. And uh, moving along, moving along, guys. Online purchase. Seattle Mariners. Baby Blue Underbottom. Raised Batterman's. And the 20th anniversary patch. This just reminds me of Ken Griffey Jr.'s rookie year for some reason. Moving along, moving along, guys. Uh, let me uh, try to shorten it up here a little bit. Let me get all the Reggies, right? Um, all the ones that I feel like, you know, little Reggie joint, little Reggie Miller joints I grabbed at uh, Champs. Champs, is it? Yeah. Champs Sports will do that to you. Let's take a look here. All right, guys. These were all made out. These were all purchased at Champs. Like I mentioned in a video here before, if I, I think I did anyway, if I didn't, forgive me. Champs is always gonna give you, um, you won't get too many uh, team options there. For whatever reason, no Champs here that I go to is always some Yankee stuff. So starting off with, but you know, you get them at a good price. Here we go with the uh, little super, super fall looking Yankees hat. 1999 World Series, Pepto-Bismol on the bottom. Reggie Batterman, can't go wrong with that color. A pair of butters or something. Then we got this, uh, another Champs purchase. Nice orange, baby blue under. Reggie Batterman, and again, they're, they're gonna give you same similar joint, but instead of 99, 1996 World Series patch. And uh, Impulse purchase. Now that I think, this just gives me Jamaica vibes for some reason. You know what I mean? Kind of like just the Jamaican flag colors there. 1996 patch. Forest green under bottom. Nothing too crazy. These are, you know, a little go, a, a nice little go to spot is Champs. Um, when you're looking for something quick and kind of clean, you guys can take it there. And what hat didn't I touch base on? Lids purchase. This is like a, like a greenish. Almost like the, isn't that like a turquoise, but it's kind of like a green. I actually love this one because compared to your Reggie Yankees, I don't know if you guys can take it's like a thicker uh, uh, logo than this one. They give you a little more flavor with the apple on the on the patch there that says 1977 All Star Game at Yankee Stadium, and then you get the raised uh, Bannerman's logo as opposed to that flat joint right there. So you see that like that little light yellow. On the undervisor, this is a, a Lids purchase. Lids has been good every time I walk in there. Purchased online from Lids. These are, check it out on eBay, guys. I think these are called the uh, Rust Collection. Check these out on eBay. This is, as I mentioned, some of the hats are treating them like sneakers. The resale for these hats, I've seen some of them in the hundreds for it, which is ridiculous. Milwaukee Brewers logo, phenomenal logo. It looks like a like a, like a baseball glove, if you look closely, but it still has the M and the B on there. Uh, raised Batterman logo with copper on the uh, sides. World Series patch. And shout out to the Bay Bay's Kids, man. Little pin game. Got this online. Um, at the time that I purchased this online, they weren't in stores, but they're definitely all over in store now. If you haven't 
If you haven't got a chance to get, get one, go out and get it. And this was another Lids purchase. Uh, you know, just a little camel game, Philly hat. And it says 2004 inaugural season. P hat, under visor, raised Batterman's logo. Um, guys, I think that's pretty much it. As far as the, uh, the fitness are concerned, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, you know what I mean? If you guys got your own hat collections, I would love to see them. I'm gonna leave my Instagram link here in the description. You guys can DM me, send me some photos of your hats, and I would love to see what you guys are uh, are working with as far as your collection goes. And um, let me know how you guys feel about the hat game, man. Is it Does it intrigue you? Um, are you just sticking to the sneaker game? Even though I feel like hats and sneakers are one and the same because you got a fresh pair of kicks. And I almost forgot this one, guys. Lids, uh, Lids purchase. This is from the Mitchell and Ness collaboration that they're doing. Allen Iverson, Sixer Forever patch. The, uh, when you see that, that logo, man, that's just, uh, that's just tied to Iverson. Like, you know, a lot of people wanted to come back, but in many ways, kind of wish they don't bring it back because it just reminds me of that 2001 season. And nothing too crazy on the back there. You can see the Hardwood Classic NBA logo. I want to get more of these NBA hats, guys. But other than that, he is I and I am him. Guys, stay away from the black nasties and get your color on the visor game up. Jay Silva checking out. And I can't forget the one I got on my head, guys. Old school P hat. Purchase that pro image. And cool little, little side game there. But he is I and I am him. Checking out. Do it! Just do it! And but they say, ain't they feel like mine's winding in this cold world, trying to adjust the climate, looking at.